All right, guys. Welcome back to a brand new section in uh, MuleSoft. And in this part of the video, we are going to talk about, or in this part of section, we are going to talk about the deployment strategies and the a bit of CI/CD, not a complete CI/CD because uh, the CI/CD itself itself is a different topic altogether or different course content. We are going to just get a brief introduction on that. Now, with that being said, now we have seen. the various uh, we have seen the various type of deployments one with the anypoint studio and the other one you log into anypoint platform and you work it out now here is the thing when you when you deal with concept of ci cd right it's a continuous integration and continuous deployment which means you are continuously integrating it and you are continuously deploying it so series of integrating one after the other now first integration you might have to add two numbers second integration you might have to multiply two numbers so in one app you are continuously integrating it one after the other so this was implemented today and this part of the layer was implemented tomorrow and this layer would have implemented in the afternoon so you don't know you are continuously integrating it once the integration has been successful right once there is a phases of how you deploy it right you kind of deploy to various uh, environment you can dev uh sit environment or a qa environment now what did we understood uh you have an any point studio right and you have any point platform platform this is studio and platform we kind of deployed from any point studio to any point platform right and uh, or you uploaded a jar file directly from here uh, from the local and then to any point platform which internally gets deployed to the aws amazon aws ec2 instance now in terms of continuous deployment obviously you have to bring up the concept of maven and what is maven we have spoken in length in the previous section i hope you have understood how, how maven works and what are the significance of the maven now with the help of the maven you can clean the project or you can deploy the project okay you can deploy the project or you can package the whole project itself correct remember this or you can um, uh, clean deploy you can verify the package or you can test the package we have seen all these maven uh, different types of the maven uh, goals and uh, corresponding to the goals you have the uh, corresponding uh, feature faces right faces and goals we have seen that now for each of these you have certain commands like mvn clean this you have mvn deploy then you have mvn package so we are we are going to use this maven as a build pro project tool okay cool now you have maven okay now you have maven agreed you have maven now in the any point studio in the any point studio you will write the code after you write the code you need to export it to a jar file or you can di di directly upload it to any point platform okay now in terms of continuous integration obviously this jar whichever code that we have written would have various version 1.0 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 so each of these jar files of different version it becomes a artifact of its own what is an artifact in english artifact means just a property even dot xml is an artifact dot jar is an artifact dot text file is an artifact dot png is an artifact okay what we are going to do is that um we are going to introduce one storage medium okay one storage medium okay um one storage medium or also we will call it as a repo repository okay this we will will push all these files into the repository okay we will push all these files into repository okay and in this repo obviously you will be having a different uh sections one is a stable repo okay we have seen that right in the um raml another one is a development repo repo what is a repo repo means a storage then you have um qa repo okay we kind of push all this jar files initially to a dev and then to stable and then you have qa okay so pushing this code from one location to a uh, send a repo okay once the jar files are available in the repo we will pick it up and then 
push it to any point platform that's all it is okay ideally it sounds so simple but and and trust me guys it is it is actually um it is in fact very simple to be honest okay it's only that the problem here is that you are trying to expect a lot of um a uh, lot of integrations ci cd ci cd and devops this has become a thing right now okay ci cd and devops this has become a thing unfortunately when mule soft itself has an environment of its own say for example let us see this now you have any point studio correct any point studio do you guys agree okay copy this then in the any point studio obviously you are say you are building an application called app1 and in the app1 the output of the application is obviously a jar file you know this very well correct and assume that you have multiple versions this is version 1.0 1.0 and then you have version 1.1 yeah and then you have version 1.2 okay let's let's stick on to this okay now this is continuous integration okay now here is your your any point platform any point platform okay in this any point platform obviously you will have different environments do you guys agree you have dev environment you have dev environment okay then you have qa environment and then you have say you have a prod environment yeah there you go that's a prod environment now assume that version 1.0 you have moved it to dev okay and now due to some various business constraint this dev code had to be taken to production okay this dev code had to be taken to production whereas 1.1 then later comes to dev again now 1.0 is done but see here in the prod you still have 1.0 1.0 whereas in dev you have 1.1 1.1 then uh, later we realize that 1.1 is not required we need 1.2 so 1.2 comes into picture so 1.1 is gone here and 1.2 comes into picture then later we understand that 1.1 has to go to qa for some reason now this has 1.2 see can you understand this this is how a continuous integration and deployment happens now this itself the artifact itself is taken care by any point platform okay you don't need anything else to be honest um any point itself does a lot of things for you but since the because of the uh, what do you call that breaking the chain of dependencies and ease of maintenance right this kind of uploading to jar file directly to any point platform we bring another intermediate layer how does it work i'll show you so let me take this let me delete all those things okay delete 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 okay and we'll just make it as dev qa prod okay now what will happen is that you have written the code in any point studio now instead of all this jar files will be saved in your local machine do you agree in local and that too in dot m2 folder which we have seen it not m2 folder to be honest um we'll talk about them to later okay you have all the jar files x can saved in local now what we'll do as a part of continuous integration we'll bring a storage medium storage medium which we also call as a repo a repo and there are many repositories available in the market you have uh, azure okay you have uh, you you have nexus nexus sonar nexus uh, then you have sonar cube and many more okay it is just another repository guys just remember it's just another repository okay uh, sonar cube and many more okay sonar cube and here in these okay let's take one of them let me delete this i'll take nexus because that's the topic we are going to discuss here we will create multiple branches dev dev repo dev repo dev repo okay then you have say dev and prod only say dev and prod repo now all this build we will go will push it over here instead of any point platform we'll push it over here okay even 1.1 as well okay now 
once it is stable then we'll push from dev to prod repo okay once that is done from prod repo we are going to deploy to dev from prod repo we are going to deploy to dev and then deploy to qa deploy to qa and deploy to prod okay now assume that 1.2 gets uh, updated then we'll obviously uh, dev repo will be updated with 1.2 from again 1.2 it will push to prod repo from prod repo you will push it to all the environment now this is this is one way of integrating it now to perform this activity from from here to here and from here to here okay there is a series of steps that has to be involved okay correct series of step say uh, this is step 1 1 okay this is step 1 then this is step 2 and this is step 3 from okay and then this is step 4 yeah and then this is step 5 this is step 6 now all these steps have to be automated obviously to that you will bring another software called as jenkins not Je yeah jenkins which will build a pipeline pipeline okay to handle all these steps so it will handle you will build the pipeline 1 2 like this 2 3 1 after the other 4 and you will put some con constraints of how to work it out okay so then you will bring J jenkins pipeline so you are you getting it the point here what i'm trying to make is that this is how the ci cd or devops strategy works now if something happens uh you know that you have a backup here okay and this part of any point studio is kind of broken down completely from any point platform okay because it will handle through a series of jenkin pipelines okay and then you have a git hub you can also get git hub okay git hub to commit the changes okay If once you have done the code changes right so you can add git hub github so code goes to github and from github you can push it to nexus see all these things is one after the other series of devops thing now what is the best architecture there is no best architecture it purely depends upon how you look at the project and what the architecture designs if you if any architecture this is the best project then you know that you are talking to a blunder okay there is no such thing as best architecture it's only that based upon the project requirement you fine tune the activities nothing and generally clients should be in, in always in demanding phase to bring the complex architecture okay if those have worked on delbumi you know that the entire delbumi itself is an automated based setup tool so the entire delbumi itself is a devops thing okay you don't need to have extra ci cd devops activity or software to bring into picture okay but mule soft yeah kind of it demands that okay cool with that being said i'll conclude this video and you got a brief understanding of what we are going to learn in the next video we are going to talk about nexus as i said nexus is just a sonar type okay so nexus sonar type is just another repo uh, a build artifact nexus is a build artifact where uh, where it will help you okay there is another thing called as a jfrog okay jfrog j frog as well okay j frog so we will talk about how to download nexus how to start the how to start the nexus okay and then and then we will see how we can push the repo to the uh, push the jar file or build file to nexus okay until then take care and have a great learning thank you